<clears throat> Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Let's say 55. Haha, <laughs> I'm, I'm a couple minutes early. I've been up for a while. I almost jumped on at like seven. Good morning. So, uh, and one of the first things I saw this morning was that the stay at home order lockdown is in place until June 4th. I mean, we all knew this was coming, right? But how awesome, how awesome is that? June 4th. Wow. So, and it's going to snow this weekend for some people because that's normal in May. Um, Anyone finally starting to realize that some shit is crazy? Some shit, some crazy shit is going on? Yeah, I, I slept most of the night and then got up extra early, um, which is interesting. Usually when there is a full moon, I don't sleep that much. I tend to get up extra early or up at like three. But whatever, I'll take the sleep. Got some work accomplished this morning and now here I am. Nice and early for our, whoa, jumper. Love the jumper. And um, this, oh, man, this card came flying out earlier this week as well, or maybe last week, financial constraints. We got this empty cupboard, empty cupboard. So some of us may be feeling some financial constraints. Um, if you are a self-employed, unemployed person, head to the Pennsylvania website. They updated some things for all of us that may be feeling some financial constraints. So within this, there's, you know, cobwebs and all that kind of stuff. And really, you know, this card is asking us to know that you'll be okay. These are some trying times, but we're all going to be okay. And really don't worry about the things that are out of your control. Don't. You know, there's nothing you can do about them. But we're all feeling this. So this is some interesting energy that probably a lot of people are feeling this morning when they woke up to see that the lockdown has been extended to June 4th. And you might be thinking, like, what the fuck is happening? So we're all feeling this. But don't let it get in your head. Don't let it stop you from moving forward. Don't let it stop you from creating what you feel you need to be creating at this present moment in time. I think we all should be creating something. And whatever that is, you don't have to build a house. Maybe write a poem. Maybe you just need to journal for yourself. Do something. Create something. Paint something. Make something. Do some craft. Do something to utilize your creative energy instead of not doing anything. Or if you're like, no, 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 Joe, I don't want to do anything, then do that. Do that. But listen to the little voice inside. Listen to that little voice. And see what that little voice has to say. So we've got the financial constraints feeling happening. Let's see what the angels and ancestors have for us on this Friday morning as we wait for a May snowstorm, May snowstorm to roll in. Funny, all winter I was saying, you know, it's probably going to snow in May. Like, I would not be surprised if it snows in May because winter was so not winter-like. And now here we are in May, Mother's Day weekend, and it, it might snow. What? What? Really? All right, angels and ancestors to go along with the financial constraints that some of us may be feeling. What do we have today? from our angels and ancestors. We have Autumn, release the old and rest. I think Autumn came up yesterday, maybe. So we're still in this space of, of resting. And to be honest, that's what I'm doing after this reading. The rest of today is going to be a cold, gray day, very autumn-like day. I'm just gonna rest. I am, I'm gonna kick back, I'm gonna hang out with Stell. We're gonna go for a walk before the rains come. And um, we're just going to rest. So maybe, you know, we're feeling a little overwhelmed knowing that Pennsylvania, at least, has extended its stay at home until June 4th. 
And maybe we just need to rest. Maybe we just need to pull a blanket over our head. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do today. Watch a movie. Watch something funny. Who knows? Who knows? But the cards so far, and maybe it's just my feelings that the cards are picking up on. Because when I saw that this morning, I'm like, ah, I mean, I knew it was going to happen. I'm sure we all knew it was going to happen. But I was just like, oh, man, really? So what do the Keepers of the Light have for us? What do the Keepers of the Light have for the collective for Friday morning going into Mother's Day? What do we have for the collective? What do we have? Good morning, Audrey. Yes, yes, rest. Same, same. You know, I've been up for a little bit, but I am totally... My plan is to do nothing today. Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. All right. Keepers of the Light for Friday. We've got... Horus, Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. I love, I love Horus. Love for it. Miraculous changes are occurring. Yeah, good for you, Christine. Way to take the day for yourself. So miraculous changes are happening. Miraculous things are happening. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. So be careful what you're thinking. Be careful what the monkey mind is doing because it's going to start bringing those things into your reality, right? It all starts with our imagination. Our imagination is really very much godlike, Christ-like, and will bring those thoughts and ideas into reality. So be mindful of where your mind is, especially, you know, going through these first couple cards of, you know, the financial constraints, you know, with that realization that, that we're here, we're in this for at least another month and probably longer. And then most likely we're going to be back here again in the winter because Surprise, surprise, from Fortune Teller Joe. It's all coming back, so get ready. Hello, Elizabeth. Um, you know, like, we're, we're in this for the long haul, whether you want to believe it or, or not, because we are a nation that is led by a child. So, you know, move softly. Know that everything is going to be okay. Yes, we're all kind of in the same situation, and everyone's situation is a little bit different. We're all feeling the pulls from all kinds of things. And so they were being asked to rest and restore and go inward. And then as we rest, you know, allow the cosmic gateway to open. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Good morning, Cindy. Allow those changes to happen. Allow those things to, to come into your life. Maybe, and you're resting today, you're going to get a little spark of, in, of, of inspiration. A new idea is going to come to you. Maybe uh, something to create in the art world. Maybe a poem. Maybe you're just meant to sit down and journal and get things off of your chest that you've been holding on to. Maybe you need to journal in the way, especially since, you know, full moon was yesterday. Um, journaling in a way of literally yelling at the journal, literally getting all of your frustration out on the paper. And then and take that piece of paper and burn the shit out of it. Burn it. Set it on fire. Let it go. But get that stuff out of you. You know, don't hold, don't hold the, the frustration and the anger in. Let it out. It's okay. We're, we're here. We're human. And we're meant to feel all the feels. So feel the feels. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be pissed. It's okay to wake up and look at your phone and be like, fuck. We're locked in until June 4th, really? And is it going to go longer? Probably. You know, maybe you're a little annoyed. Write it down. Write it down on a piece of paper and then burn the shit out of that paper. Let it go. You know, because it's not going to serve you holding on to the ideas of, fuck, we're locked in until, you know, for another month. But write it down. Get it out of you. Feel all the emotions you are feeling and then let them go because your thoughts are magnetic. The more you sit, the more you hold on to those thoughts, the more those things are going to come into reality. Remember that. Your thoughts are powerful. Your thoughts create the world around you. So be mindful what you are thinking. All right, last card for the day from the Soul Rebels. The Soul Rebels. What do the Soul Rebels have for us 
for day 55. Day 55. I mean, it's really given us more time to create the new world, right, that we want to live in. So what are we creating? What are we building? What are we bringing into life? Ah, what's already within you? I was literally just talking about this card yesterday. What is already within you? So, ask yourself, what's that little voice asking me to do? What's that little voice telling me to do? All of the answers you need are, are within you. Everything you need is within you. Not somewhere else, not in me, not in Susie, not in Bob. Everything you need is already within you. If you allow yourself to listen to that little voice inside. Listen to that little voice. All right, so let's read what the special message from this oracle is. This oracle call also comes with a special guidance for you. You are more ready than you think you are. You are more prepared than you realize. You don't need an entire army of resources to move ahead, although you may find that when you do move, many resources suddenly become... Sorry about that. I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb and someone was calling. All right, sorry. All, all that you need in this moment is just one sweet act of nourishment. Ah, look at that. Perfect. We need a nourishment. Going back to that, that autumn card, the rest, restore, renew. We need the nourishment. That is enough to take you out of backwards nostalgia or regret and move forward into what is waiting for you now. Be brave, dig deep within, and enjoy the sweet surrender. So again, this, this card is, is you know, really confirming that if we take a little bit of a respite, right? We rest a little bit. will really be able to hear that voice inside and know that everything's inside of you. It's all within. Sure, we might be failing a little annoyed, some financial constraints. Our cupboards might be going a little bare. It's all right. Don't let it get in your head. Everything is going to be okay. Release the old and rest, right? Tap into Horus. We still got our cosmic gateway. The downloads are still coming. The knowledge, wisdom, and guidance is still coming to us. And that knowledge, wisdom, and guidance is pointing us right back to ourselves. Right back to ourselves in a space of knowing that everything we need is inside of us. So that is Friday, 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 Friday morning for all of us. Happy Mother's Day weekend for all the mamas out there and mamas-to-be. Don't let the actual situation of the world events get to you. Go within, relax, restore, maybe take a long hot bath, do something sweet for yourself today. Take the day off if you can. <clears throat> Journal, watch a movie, do something that feels good. Ah, I'm sorry, Christine. So do something that feels good and See what happens. So it's Friday. You know what Friday means. It totally feels like it's a whole little show, right? So Friday's Guitar Fridays. Let's see how Joe's gonna scare himself to death. So if you're out there and you don't want to hear me sing a song, feel free to jump off. Thanks for joining us. But it's Guitar Friday. It's Guitar Friday. It kind of feels like it's a little kid show. Um, and today for Guitar Friday, I think we're going to do, let's see. Um, whoo, um, so this is Loka Samasa Suki no Bavantu which means may all my thoughts, words, actions contribute in some way to the happiness of all beings. So we'll see what happens. This um, mantra reminds me so much of my friend Pradeep um, out in San Fran. He always sings this um, in his sweet, cute acapella voice. So I figured I could try to do it um, with my guitar today. 
So we'll see what happens. I'm going to remember to breathe a little bit, and we'll see how it flows. So God bless all of us. Um, yes, yes, such a good mantra. Let's see how, how she flows. And you're welcome to sing along from your home. No one can hear you. some way to the happiness of all beings. Thank you all, thank you all, thank you all so much for being here, for being part of this, for letting me sing you all a song on Fridays. Don't let your mind get in the way of all the goodness that's inside of your soul. Listen to the little voice inside, know that everything you need is within you. Keep creating, keep going inward, keep doing what the little voice is telling you to do. Tomorrow the reading will happen around 11.15-ish after the two-hour practice. Tomorrow's two-hour practice is called Living From Your Heart, Living From Something. It's all about your heart center, all about opening up the heart um, and really expressing your love out to the world and to yourself. That's 9 to 11 tomorrow morning. Very special extended practice. We will move our body, open our heart, do some mantras and all that fun stuff. So if you want in, I'll put the link in the comments. And hopefully I will see you. If not, I will see you here tomorrow around 11. And, you know, my Saturday readings are always the funnest for me because I'm extra yoga stoned from class. So come spend the morning with me if you would like. Thank you all for pushing me, for inspiring me. I love and appreciate you all. Have a great day. Have a beautiful Friday. Rest, restore, do something sweet for yourself. Take a bath. Make a wonderful big pot of coffee. Do something that is treating yourself in a way that you maybe you would not treat yourself. 
I love you all. Satnam. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow.